Muscles play an important role in body movements as well as the movement of internal organs. Without muscles, it would be impossible to bend, stretch, walk, or perform any activity. In fact, muscles constitute about 40 to 50 percent of body weight in adults. Muscle is a specialized tissue that originates in the mesoderm. Interestingly, it is the only tissue in your body that has special properties like contractility, extensibility, elasticity, and excitability. Muscles can be classified based on their location, appearance, and nature of regulation of their activities. Based on their location, muscles are classified into three types, namely skeletal, visceral, and cardiac. Skeletal muscle tissues are attached to the bones of the body by collagen fibers called tendons. These muscles are striated or striped and are also referred to as voluntary muscles as they are under the control of the nervous system. Skeletal muscles help in locomotion and different body postures. Another type of muscle are visceral muscles. They are found in the inner walls of hollow visceral organs such as the alimentary canal and reproductive tract. In contrast to skeletal muscles, these muscles are unstriated or smooth and involuntary. These muscles help to carry food through the digestive tract and the meats through the genital tract. The third type of muscle is the cardiac muscle, which is found only in the heart. Cardiac muscle cells are branched, striated, involuntary and contain a single nucleus. Several cardiac muscle cells assemble in a branched manner to form a cardiac muscle. All these three types of muscles have a complex structure. Let's take a look at the structure of a skeletal muscle. Each skeletal muscle consists of many muscle bundles called fascicles that are held together by a collagenous connective tissue layer called fascia. Each muscle bundle consists of many muscle fibers where each fiber exhibits a syncytium condition which means the sarcoplasm contains several nuclei. Did you know that the parts of a muscle fiber have been given special names? For instance, the plasma membrane is called the sarcolemma, the cytoplasm is known as the sarcoplasm, and the endoplasmic reticulum is called the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The sarcoplasmic reticulum is a storehouse of calcium ions, which are important for muscle contractions. Each muscle fiber consists of several myofibrils that are parallelly arranged. When viewed under an electron microscope, these myofibrils show alternate light and dark bands. These striations are due to the alternate distribution of two important proteins, actin and myosin. The light band contains actin and is known as isotropic band or I band, whereas the dark band contains myosin and is known as anisotropic band or A band. Both actin and myosin are rod shaped proteins arranged parallel to each other as well as to the longitudinal axis of the myofibrils. However, myosin filaments are thicker compared to actin filaments and they are therefore also called thick and thin filaments respectively.
They are alternately arranged throughout the length of the myofibrils. Each A band is bisected by a thin fibrous membrane called the M line, to which the thick filaments are attached. Similarly, the center of each I band is bisected by an elastic fiber called the Z line, to which all the thin filaments are firmly attached. The portion of the myofibril that lies between two successive Z lines is called the sarcomere which forms the functional unit of a muscle contraction. At rest, the ends of the thin filaments partly cover the ends of the thick filaments, leaving the central part of the thick filaments uncovered, which is called the H zone. The biochemical study of the two proteins, actin and myosin, show that both have a complex structure. Each actin or thin filament consists of two F or filamentous actins helically coiled to each other. Each F actin is a polymer of monomeric G or globular actin. These F actins also have two filaments that run closely throughout their length. These filaments are made of a protein called tropomyosin, which bears another complex protein called troponin at regular intervals. In a resting state, a subunit of troponin covers the active binding sites for myosin on the actin filaments. Similarly, each myosin or thick filament is a polymerized protein. It is made up of many monomeric proteins called meromyosins. Each meromyosin consists of two important parts, a globular head with a short arm and a tail. However, the globular head and arm is heavier than the tail and is therefore called heavy meromyosin or HMM, while the tail is called light meromyosin or LMM. The HMM component projects at regular distances at an angle from the surface of the myosin filament and is called the cross arm. The head has binding sites for actin and ATP. Additionally, it has an active ATPase enzyme that breaks down the ATP into ADP plus inorganic phosphate, thereby releasing energy. Although the human body has about 650 muscles, in every physical action, whether blinking or running, there is an interplay of muscles as well as complex proteins.